So there's a weird, tiny little 10 minute anime called Gravity Rush Overture. Ooh. That I would highly suggest. What's that? What's what? What's Gravity Rush Overture? Uh, it's a 10 minute anime that I would highly suggest every single person uh, take a look at. Okay. Because um, Gravity Wash. Gravity Wash. Gravity Wash. Gravity Wash 1. Gravity Wash. Gravity Wash 1. As a. Uh, a pretty definitive ending. It's like you beat the problem and blah blah blah, right? Yeah. And then in Overture, Raven and Cat are just hanging out, and uh, oh no, something's attacking the city, and they fight two anime villains, mm -hmm. and then a big thing blows up, and they get blown off into a portal. Oh. And they go, and that's how we ended up so far from Heckesville and had the start of a new adventure. Oh, geez. So it's just straight up like... So I, I mean... I fell into a portal so we could be in a different place and the game could start. I left off early enough that, that they were still enemies. Yes. So I assume that in between... The, By the end they, of the game. They become friends. That, that you find out that Raven's actually cool. Okay, and then they actually... Um, but now, Raven is super playable as your As, as a DLC thing will happen later. Okay. Um, well, the cat's name is Dusty, right? I feel like it was Dusty. Yeah, <sighs> dude. Uh, because it's a cool cat. I'm the wrong person. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, made up language. Made up language that is clearly supposed to be, uh, Frappanese. Frappanese. <laughs> That's not bad. Ah, I got it. I've been working on that That's for like three years. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what that, this stupid language is supposed to be. Pretty good. Uh, so I already did the beginner course, so I'm gonna go with the experience course. Oh, you've so you've, you've I played the demo you've already. Done this. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the experience course. There. Oh, you know what? No, actually, because there are people out there that don't know what the fuck Gravity Rush is. Well, we did take a look of the, at the first game. Yeah, but people oh. ignore our videos. That's true. <laughs> Hey, Sid! Where are you at, bro? While this immediately looks way better than the re-release of Part 1. It looks... ...really good. <laughs> like, the <laughs> distance between you and that wall and the amount of lighting effects going on in between... It's strong. ...is great. Uh, but the game still retains, like, a whole lot of, um... Yeah, so, whoa, we got sucked up by that gravity storm! Mm -hmm. Oh, we've been stuck over here! Uh, and everything has nonsensical names, but they still kept, like, a lot of the style from the PSP game. Just like these, these, uh, animated portraits that just talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the same as it, as it was. Yeah. Um, you, I really like Cat. I think Cat's great. She's a really cool design character, too. Do you have all the shit right away? Uh, not all of it. And I think that some of that might be a demo. But you also have some new shit that you didn't have before. Oh, Lonely Island new shit! Check out this new shit. What you got? So this is a much bigger area right away. First new ability, reset camera. Oh my god. That the PSP didn't have that. Not really. <laughs> it wasn't R3 anyway. Uh, and it just feels real good to move around. Do you have your float off the planet button? Yes. But oh, it's not yet. Okay. But not yet. All right. Yeah, man. Art design, very cool. Everything about this. Very not typical of anything. I can't think of anything that looks like. Gravity Rush. Um, down to the way the people are dressed, even. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. Yeah. One thing I, I'm not sure, I hope, because Gravity Rush had a lot of really hard color. Mm -hmm. Like, there was, this is the green. Yeah. Like, this deep green part of the city. And here's this deep orange. And this one is a lot more, so like, natural looking. Some of these, some of these, like, environments are a little bit, like, Ghibli-esque. Yes. A um, little. that's the closest thing I, I can get to. Yeah, that's the button. Uh, and they've con they've left the tilt stuff in here. Oh, the tilt for, controls. For fine, fine movement. Oh, okay. Uh, any touchpad play as well? I did not find any. Okay. But, Matt, so those of you who don't know nothing about No Gravity Rush, uh, it's about falling down. And doing sick-ass rider kicks. Yes. There, you're only- you can't fly, but you can just change your center of gravity so that you fall towards your location. And the world doesn't really know or care. Doesn't give a fuck. And then you can use the, the, the controller tilt to get the really fine motor adjustment. I would love- And then when you're doing it, you have this amazing <laughs> devil trigger look. Yeah. Because your, your universe cat is so, incorporating over your body. For you JoJo fans out there, uh, cat is the opposite of sea moon. The opposite of sea moon. And, uh... 
It would be terrifying to think what a person could do if they were like, it was like if it was like flash and zoom in this game, where your rival, uh, where uh, Raven would just be like, no, my ability is to make everyone else's gravity get fucked up. Shit. Then the world is is over. But um, oh, oh, it's just you. It's just me and and your, my magic cat. And your your cat buddy kind of comes with you. So I guess it's both of it's you. It's weird because the cat and the Raven are the source of literally all of their powers. And, and their I, names are Cat and Raven. I don't remember the Cat and Raven being explained in Gravity Rush 1. Right. I remember it just being like, oh, hey, Magic Universe Cat. And the Cat and Raven have their own names, right? Yes. That um, are not Cat and Raven. I, it's Dusty, and I don't remember what the, the bird's name is. Great. And then you get your fine motor control, which you can come to a dead hey. stop, and then fall down. Now, if you're the kind of person who gets fucking sick-ass motion sick due to change of, pers like, perspective... Not at all from this game, because open space is totally fine. Yeah. I, to me personally, no problem whatsoever. Going through the ground like that is not fantastic. I stopped right at the last second. It's not fantastic. It's happy that I learned my gravity controls. Um, and fall damage is not a thing? I don't know. Because... That would be the uh, one threat to a person. I, I would imagine power it's is. actually not because the gravity will reverse. But if you stop right before you hit the ground, you won't have the like land animation. Mm. The other problem would be increasing your personal gravity to the point that you get flattened. Yes, and you don't want to do that. No. Hey, gravity queen. <laughs> Time to go hang out on the town, which looks like a place. This looks like a PlayStation first party game. Yeah. In terms like Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter and stuff like that all have this this really hyper specific, like bright and varied color palette in these kinds of areas. The shadows are not black. They're yeah. shades of blue. Yeah. Um Yeah man. The uh the textures are really strong here as well. But this is again made for the PS4, right? And yes. not a PSP. Uh oh. Uh, rather, um, uh oh, rather, you know. oh, I, I fucked up my, my center of gravity okay. there. Okay. Yeah, if you get closer to the sun, if you get to the, if you move on to planets closer to the sun, you get big old fat and heavy. You get flattened. And you do kicks. There you go. You kicks on these monsters that appear to be made out of balls. Oh, and now they're in the middle of the town and everyone's running and screaming. Sure are. So this is not one of those like, let's keep the people. Uh, no, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Safe. Because they're coming for you? Yeah, they're coming for me. They I don't know how will I deal with the fire. They fight. want the gold, sucker. Stasis fields. So this is where the PS4 gets to, like, really yeah. show its stuff, where I go over to these, these uh, barrels, the and just every oh. single item in the fucking stage pulls. And then you just... Your Oro. You just... Yeah, you just you pop them. You just Oro everybody. Yeah, whatever, I can do it. Fuck y'all. That super art is so strong. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. And you just, you just pick up items, so it's a, an excuse for everything to just fly apart around you. Later! That's amazing. Later! How you didn't wreck any of my shop with your altering <laughs> gravity around your body. Well, I'm just happy that he's happy because the first game, the first people you save uh. are huge assholes. Fuck that witch, kill her. They're so fucking shitty and they're angry about the fact that you saved their lives by destroying their property. Uh. Oh my god, a meat skewer. So How happy. Yeah. Oh! That's what you get, cat. Birds are such shits. And now, it's go time. Yeah. Could you imagine what this bird is thinking right now? Like, man, fuck that bitch. I rule the skies. Aw, oh, shit! I mean, okay, you could have some of it. So all you really have to do to change direction is yeah. aim in a new place and hit R1 twice. Yeah, and are, are you tilting there the... A little. You're using a little bit of the tilt? A little bit of the tumble? A little. Use L1 to, like, reset yourself. Yeah, I think the stick is, uh, probably the better way to go. Well, it's it's better for large movements, but, but for fine for control, precision. you occasionally want to do the, uh... There we go, gonna get you... Fucking rider kick... No! Oh! oh! And it ate it. Damn it. Damn you, you fucking bird. I'm gonna punch your shit out. Do it like out. Decade. Open the gates and fucking kick through them. And kick your fucking asshole out. 
Man, if you kicked a bird, you would literally kick its asshole. Out. This is very much like an E3 style demo. I hope like, where it just throws you into random parts of the game. Is that what's happening? Yeah, because, like, this is not the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. Like, I, characters are already established. This might not even be the game at all in terms of, like, yeah. what the event's occurring. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, I, have a, I have a strong feeling that these events will occur. Can you pause it? I can. Okay, I want to see what this looks like, because the, menu, the menus in the last one were pretty dope. Oh, this boy, is that is incredible. Whoa! Look at these fucking menus, dude. Yeah. Look at that high-end map. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's no need for that. I was impressed last time. This is Can't do it. Oh, unfortunately not. Okay, what do we got in system? On point. Good um, job. Camera config, photo mode. Fucking... Oh! Check that yeah. out. No, this is some menus, dude. And announcements for DLC and soon. In a world where P5 looms on the horizon... I'm glad to, to see other people stepping it up as well. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that was always a thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Because everyone's about to get their asshole blown out, but these guys are like, no, we're going to hold ours in. We're gonna hold. We're gonna hold our asshole in. Cat's just really likable. Kind of reminds me of Spider-Man, actually, huh? in terms of just. I'm. I'm just a. I'm just a young person. But she's also kind of dumb. She falls into stupid like. Uh, uh, um, I just a little bit slow, so yeah. I didn't get what was happening here. Yeah. Whereas Raven is hyper serious, and it's 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 fire and ice. It's it's the typical. I don't need and now these these purple popes are mad at him because his cargo may be illegal. Oh shit, purple popes. Don't fuck with the purple popes. Nah, man. They're dressed like that to be a penis. They sipping on that purple stuff. What? Yeah, see, like, this is a good example. Man. But it's, yeah, exactly. Just super slick. Super, super slick. But today's the... But the prom's tomorrow! Yeah, exactly. Wow, your shit face is shit. <laughs> That guy is the least trustworthy motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. No, exactly. Like, like he might as well just be licking a knife. He reminds me of Navar. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. With facial hair and a shittier haircut. Trouble. What? Oh no! Like that guy. That guy stole all my shit. Now you chased a bird. Now chase a man. And your gravity powers are limited to some degree, and it's usually when you change your focus. So you know what I wasn't 100% fond of in the first game? The stealth parts. I don't even remember that. There was uh, a part uh, early on where you had to stealth your way around the little castle, otherwise guards would see you. But you had to do, like, gravity stealth. <laughs> <laughs> and I... I that's literally been erased from my memory. And the cone of vision was a sphere of vision. Oh, uh, I do remember that now. And it was not the funnest. Oh, to get the bombs, because the cops are in the plaza exactly, and all that shit. Exactly, yeah, okay. Exactly. Wait, what's that smell? It's bleh. It's, bleh. Oh. it's awful. Oh! Man, this lighting is so cool. Yeah. It's not cell shaded, but it uses some of the... It has, something? It's not cell shaded, but the outlines are there. What, one of the weirdest things about her dodge is that it's really short! It yeah. barely moves her at all. But it, but it's it, it's iframes, and that's all that yeah. matters. Yeah, and it's like your mobility on the floor is in direct opposition to your mobility in the sky, which is more or less infinite. And here, and here's the, the here's yeah. the the fucking showstopper, which is like no, listen. Yes, I'm basic. Like the the whole to, the whole gravity thing is just an excuse to, to be a midair common rider all the time. And you need to please like get some good distance on that drop. Because the further you fall, Whoa! the stronger it gets. Speaking of... Yeah, that's so what I want to see. this special attack is different from the special attack that was in the game, like, in Gravity Rush 1. It's a lot crazier than I expected. It's just... Psycho Crusher. Everybody. Um... She did do she something... She did do that? Yeah. Because I remember the huge big one on the larger enemies. The, the, the boss killer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's the boss killer, but she did have something like that. Yes. And now a proper boss. Oh, and all the bosses follow the same pattern, which is they got lots of goo. Yeah, your design is pretty dope, though. You look like a nice big kickable. Uh oh. He's got. Oh boy. He's got a big thing. There we go. Did I get it? Yeah, I don't think. You can also dodge in the air now. Oh, nice. I don't know if you could do that before, honestly. I I don't know either. Um, you didn't do any damage, so there. No, that's not hurting him. Nope. Maybe the hand? Let's try the hand when he slams it down. Ah, oh, there we go. 
Oh, special attacks back. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Absolutely melted. It's the biggest Psycho Crusher. Like, imagine if, if Bison could, like, really, really steer it well. Because he does during his, 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 his Super Street Fighter 4 Super, but, like, stopping and starting. Yeah. How, 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 what's the turning radius on your Psycho Crusher, Bison? Is it 90 Listen. degrees? I can maximum spider you while doing it. <sighs> that needs to be a super. That needs that to be That really something. needs to be a super. <laughs> of a fast Psycho Crusher. God damn. Thank you for playing. Nice. So yeah, this is why I say it's very much like an E3 slash trade show demo. Because it's like, here's how the game plays. Here's the game concept. But... Th th thank you. And then you melted that boss with your, your and, you, and you just melted. I imagine that's because it was playing on baby mode. Also, that was a mid boss because the real bosses have the big, big kills. Yes, where you you turn into big kills for big boys. Uh, but this this B roll is it's kind of amazing. Yes, it is. <laughs> and even if this is not in the full game, this is this is this is one hundred percent in the full game. That's the big boss kills that we're no, talking about. No, no, about. no, no. I mean, if the final. <gasps> Look at yeah, that! Yeah, no, I know, I know. That's super hype. That's super hype. But I mean, if the title screen of the final game is not this, I understand, because this is go buy the fucking game. This is a bit much. This is a bit much. This is trying to tell you to go buy it. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit.